Hey everybody, welcome back to Peachy Disc Golf. In today's video, I am going to be doing a little field test with Paul Big Best's newest disc release with Discraft, the prototype Kratos. And we are going to compare it to Paul's first disc, his original putter with Discraft, the Luna. Let's see how both of these discs compare. So I mentioned a video that I put out in the beginning of the year that one of the discs that I was most looking forward to trying out this year was going to be this, the Paul Macbeth Kratos. Now the Kratos is supposed to be a beaded version of his original putter, his first release with Discraft, which was the Luna. Because of that, it's supposed to be a little more overstable. So back when I was first getting into disc golf, I actually picked up some Lunas. I was really impressed with the way they felt, especially for putting. It just felt so nice. Like I really liked the rounded edge of the Luna and I was putting with these for a good like six months or so. I really enjoyed putting with these, but I always felt even back when I was first getting started that the numbers on the Luna were a bit misleading because they are listed as 3303, which to me sounds like it should be an absolute beefcake of a putter, but I never found that to be the case. I always found that the Lunas were really just a nice straight putter, a little bit of fade, not something I would trust into a headwind or anything, especially off the tee, but now here we have the Kratos. So the Kratos has the exact same numbers as the Luna. It's 3303 and then a Discraft stability rating of one, which is the same as the Luna as well. So the numbers for both of these discs are the same. I was wondering if they were going to change the numbers on the Luna, but I just looked on their website and they're still listed the same. So I thought that these were gonna be like a significantly more overstable version. Numbers wise, it does not seem like that's the case, but I am really interested to see how they compare flight wise. But before we get into some test flights, uh, let's talk about how these feel compared to the Lunas. So obviously the biggest difference with the Kratos is that it is beaded. So if we take a look at the Luna and the Kratos side by side here, depth wise, they are very similar. I'm not noticing that much difference in the hand. Like I'm holding the Luna in a power grip here. If I switch to the Kratos, it feels a little deeper, but not by much. It's not like a super noticeable difference. The way that Paul has been explaining it is he's saying like, rather than adding a bead to the Luna, they sort of cut into the bottom to carve out a bead, which does seem like it's sort of the case. Like I'm looking here, they do not look that much different. I'll have some photos showing them side by side that might better represent on if there is a little bit of difference, but in the hand, like the, the, the bead does make a difference in hand feel, but not with depth. They feel very similar in the hand. I do actually prefer the way that this Kratos feels though. I've sort of come to like beaded putters. When I first got started with this golf, I really preferred beadless putters. So in a, in a power grip though, the Kratos feels really comfortable. The Luna always felt a little awkward for me in power grip. I always had to sort of fan grip it, which fan grip both feel great. Uh, so if I were throwing either of these off the tee, honestly, I would probably prefer going with the fan grip feels just a little bit more comfortable to me than a power grip with either of them. There's really not that much difference as far as hand feel goes, minus the fact that this one has a bead. And that's really the only difference. Like depth wise, it feels good. Plastic, I think they went with the same plastic between the two as well. So it feels great. I, I think it, it feels nice. So we're gonna do a couple test flights out in the field to see how they fly. But before we get into that, let's see how the Kratos is putt and then we're gonna head out and see how they fly. So I have two Lunas here and two Kratoses. So we're gonna do a short range putt first just to sort of see how they feel in my putting grip. So in case you don't know what my putt grip looks like, this is sort of my uh, standard grip here. So I have my three fingers on the flight plate and my index finger is just sort of resting on the rim, which is why I've sort of come to really like beaded putters because it sort of has a more consistent placement for my index finger. We'll do the two Lunas first and then the two Kratoses. We'll just sort of do a couple cycles just to see how it feels. And then we'll back up to more like a circle's edge putt and see if there's any difference in flight from putting. So from this range, I don't expect there to be any difference here. We're just looking at like a like a 10 foot foot putt here. So the Luna's come off nice and clean. Kratos is just feel better right off the bat. Yeah, the they both, obviously from this distance, there's not gonna be any change in flight, but 
the Kratos is, with my putt grip specifically, do feel a little bit better. So let's do one more round of that real quick. Actually, we'll, let's move the basket back just a little bit. Too lazy to move the camera. So we'll add a little more range to this putt, not too much more. The Lunas really do come out clean, but the bead with the Kratos, if I were choosing between the two, I'm definitely gonna be leaning towards these beaded putters instead. All right, so let's back it up. We'll go to more circle's edge here, and we'll see is the Kratos gonna be a little more overstable where I'd have to aim a little off to the right. So we'll putt from here. This is, again, closer to circle's edge. We'll start with the Lunas first, then we'll go to the Kratos's. Oh, geez. A little low. Okay, I kind of feel like the Lunas are slipping out of my hands from here. My hands are kind of chilly uh, this morning right now, so that's definitely not helping. Let's see if I can get a little better grip with the Kratos here. Short armed it again. Okay, they still carried straight. So I'm gonna grab them one more time. Let's see if we can get a better series going. Warm my hand up. We're gonna start with the Lunas again first. That was a better putt. That was a low putt. Oh, stuck that one in there. Ah, a little short. Seems like the putters are not like more noticeably overstable when putting with them, which is what I expected, honestly. I, I feel like you'd have to be well into circle two in order to sort of notice any difference with putting. But again, I just prefer the feel of the Kratos in my hands with my putt grip. So we're gonna go head out to the field now and we'll give them a couple throws. All right, well, let's do a little benchmark to start off. We're gonna go with uh, Luna here. Just trying to throw it flat. We do have a bit of a tailwind. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit of hyzer on it. Try to go see what happens. All right, not bad. Holds the hyzer pretty good. So this Kratos should be more overstable. Oh, just a little bit. Not too different. So that was a nice soft throw. Not too much difference there. The Kratos definitely had a little bit more stability, but not a crazy amount. So now we're gonna try giving them some full power rips and uh, we'll see what happens. I imagine the Luna is gonna have a little more turn. So let's see if that's the truth. Pretty nice. Still held the hyzer actually pretty good. Let's give the Kratos a full harder throw here. Oh yeah, that has a little bit more fade there. It's not a huge difference, honestly, but uh, there it is there for sure. So let's go grab them back and uh, maybe we'll try throwing them into a headwind here the other way. Okay, this will be the real test, I think, to see if there's a big difference between the Kratos and the Luna. The Kratos, again, is listed as 3303. That is the same numbers that are on the Luna. I wonder if they've updated these numbers or not, because even when I first got these, I was like, these are not 3303. And that was back when I was like first getting into disc golf. I was like, these are, don't feel like three fades to me, even with my really, really weak arm. I have a weak arm now, but back then it was even worse. So we're thrown into a headwind here. I'm really interested to see how these discs react. We're gonna give each of these a toss. We'll start again with sort of like a 60 to 70% power, nice soft throw just to sort of see how it, how it feels. Then we'll bump up to a full power throw after that. So once again, we are gonna start with the Luna and here it goes. Put on hyzer again. Ooh, the wind's died down a bit. So that held the hyzer the whole way. <laughs> and now the wind is picking back up. So let's give this Kratos a shot here. Oh yeah, really nice flight, honestly. Definitely feels a little more overstable than the Luna. It definitely wants to fight out a little bit harder. So here we go. Full power throw with the Luna here. 
There's a bit of turn out of it. It's still fighting though. Pretty solid. It had a little bit of fight still. It definitely flipped over a good bit, but a little fight. So let's see what happens with the Kratos. Does it even have that much turn or does it just sort of flip to flat? Oh, well, it's turning. Really similar. Really similar, actually. It's not a night and day difference by any means. So I grabbed my other two putters, but here you can sort of see it. These are my two full power throws, both of them landing within just a couple of feet of each other. So we're getting similar distance between the Kratos and the Luna, and it does seem like the stabilities are decently similar. It's not like, like I've been saying, it's not a night and day difference by any means. So, all right, so we're gonna do one more throw with all four of these discs uh, in this direction and then back this way. The wind is definitely a bit swirly. It's not just sort of a straight down. Right now we have sort of a crosswind left to right. We'll do all four discs again. So won't have too much commentary between them. And I'll just tell you what disc I'm throwing and then I'll give you my initial impressions of the Kratos once I get back home. All of the throws previously were power grip. I'm going fan grip for this wave actually. We'll start off with a Luna. All of these will be full power shots. Let's see how it goes. Pretty solid with the Luna there. Now we're going Kratos. Oh my, that really holds in the wind. I'm throwing into like a pure headwind right now. That was, that was pretty solid. Let's see if we can get a Luna off in this wind also here. Yeah, the Luna holds up honestly, pretty solid. All right, one more throw with the Kratos here. Oh yeah, really good, really good stability there. So yeah, with fan grip especially, there's no risk of it turning over, it seems like. We'll do one more coming back this way with the uh, full power power grips again. All of my putters sort of ended in the same area. Not too much distance difference. We got a pair, a Luna and a Kratos here. So, and then we have another Kratos further off to the left than the Luna, but not much extra distance. I think what I'm learning is that the, uh, the Luna is not as understable as I remember it. I was throwing the Lunas early on in my disc golf career and I have poor angle control now, but you can imagine it was really bad back in the day. So I bet I was throwing it on huge anizers and I'm like, this isn't a three fade. It's definitely got some stability. It's not like a, I feel like if I were throwing my Cosmic Fury on these lines, it would carry laser straight, maybe have a little more turn even. So it definitely has some more stability than I remember, but the Kratos does seem like it has just a touch more. I, honestly, I still don't know if either of them would have three fade. Maybe it does, but like to me, like an Envy has like two fade, doesn't it? And it is significantly more overstable. <laughs> like I feel like I could throw that full power and it'll turn and carry straight, but it'll definitely fade. I, I'm not feeling the same about these Kratos as still, but we're gonna give them one more throw. We'll really try to put a move on them. Let's see what happens. All right, last set of throws. Again, the swirly wind, pure headwind, which honestly I'm pretty happy about. I really do wanna give these full power throws into a headwind. Let's see what happens. We'll start off with a Luna and we'll follow up with the Kratos, then repeat. <sighs> yeah, so in a headwind, it turns over <laughs> for sure, <laughs> even on Heiser. Let's give a Kratos a shot here. Yeah, if I were throwing my Envy in this, I would, I would know it would definitely turn a little bit, but I definitely think I would trust it a little more. Oh, okay. Okay, Kratos, I see that. <laughs> that one just flipped to flat and carried straight. So maybe there is a little bit of difference here. Let's give the Luna another shot. There's a good throw with the Luna. Maybe I didn't put enough hyzer. That one just sort of went straight. Just a little bit of fade at the end. So the Kratos definitely had more fade, but that one didn't flip over. Let's give the uh, last Kratos one more shot. Ripping headwind. Ah, that one just died. <laughs> you could probably just hear the wind. I'm putting the microphone into it. It's pretty strong, so it's not like a wind fighter. You're not gonna be using it in place of your zones or your uh, A5s or whatever, but it's interesting. I'm gonna head back home. I'll give you my initial impressions of the Kratos. These aren't gonna be my final thoughts because I do plan on doing like a challenge video using the Kratos versus the Luna out on the course. 
So I'll sort of give you my more defined thoughts then, but I'll still let you know what I think after these first initial throws. All right, so I am finished up with my first little initial test of the new Discraft Kratos. Again, these aren't gonna be my final thoughts of the disc yet. I do want to do a little challenge out on the course, put these on a couple different lines and see how it holds up. First off, I really like the way the Kratos feels when compared to the Luna. I'm definitely leaning towards beaded putters as I progressed in my disc golf career. They just feel a little bit better in my hand, especially when putting with them. So if I were to choose these as a putter, I would definitely go with the Kratos over the Luna. In a fan grip, I do think both the Luna and the Kratos are very similar and both equally comfortable, but in power grips, again, I do prefer the beaded Kratos. But as far as flight's concerned, there's a little bit of difference. It does seem like the Kratos does have a little bit more stability, but it is not anything crazy. Again, the numbers for the, the, the both of the Luna and the Kratos are listed as 3303. And I think that that's really not the case. I think it's more like a, 3301 <laughs> for both of them honestly there's not a lot of difference between the two i'm not seeing like one being more noticeably overstable than the other if i were throwing both the kratos and a luna into a headwind i wouldn't be surprised if either of them turned over burned out a bit with the fate of three i expected to sort of behave more like a zone or an envy or anything like that and that's just not the case for these putters these are just going to be more like nice laser beam putters with a nice reliable fade at the end. The Kratos really does feel nice in the hand. I do like the way it feels. Even though the Cosmic Fury is beadless, I still prefer its hand feel. I think it just has a better depth that fits my hand a little more comfortably. So I doubt the Kratos is going to be making it into the bag unless we see some miraculous shots coming out when I do my test out on the course. But overall though, the Kratos is still a nice addition to the lineup. I definitely prefer the beaded version compared to the Luna in pretty much every aspect of my game. Like I would prefer using this for fan grip approach shots, power grips off the tee. And if I were putting, definitely, definitely I would be going with the Kratos. I just find it to be a little more comfortable with my putt grip. But I, I really thought that these were gonna be a little bit more overstable, but it's pretty nice, honestly. It just means you could take either one of these. You're gonna get similar shot shapes out of them and you'll be able to sort of find one that fits your hand better. Do you prefer the beadless version with the Luna or the beaded version with the Kratos? So it's nice that Discraft is giving you some options and you'll be able to sort of pick and choose which disc fits your game best. So that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel because I am gonna be doing a video out on the course where I play six or nine holes using the Kratos against the Luna. We'll sort of see how they compare out on the course. And at the end of that video, I have a second pair of Kratos here that I'm planning on giving away. So you will you definitely don't wanna miss that. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed watching this little initial impressions video of the Discraft Kratos, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also ring that notification bell so you can be notified when our next episode comes out. Until next time, guys, cheers.